Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on another beautiful day here in California where today I'm going to be meeting up with a friend of mine, Stig's Persian cousin, who I last filmed with five years ago out in Dubai with his car that at the time was already pretty crazy. Well, by all coincidences, I'm here in the OC with my car from the UK and he is out here now as well with his car from Dubai. It's a Lamborghini Gallardo Super Trofeo Stradale. Already an incredibly limited edition and back then it was already heavily modified out here though he has now basically turned it into a race car for the road the thing is absolutely insane and as he describes it it is basically a Lamborghini machine gun so he should be arriving any moment I rather suspect I'm gonna hear him coming about five miles away if that wasn't already the sound of his engine then we're gonna be heading out to see this car and to experience something pretty bonkers And bang on cue, that is it that I can literally hear coming. Those downshift cracks and bangs, he is somewhere <laughs> in the traffic over there. Yeah, oh no, there's a Porsche, and there it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the bangs and the sounds and the noises of this thing. Now, some of you might have seen some of his pretty <laughs> viral videos that he's shot before with encounters with police out here by having a Dubai number plate and a car like that. But hopefully he will work out how to get to where I am in a moment. All I can hear is the noises of the echoes off the walls and we'll be able to take a look at this thing. Oh, 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 we've got a, a GT3 RS coming around. There we go, there we go. Have a look at these things rolling on in. 991 GT3 RS, and then that thing, which had a bit of a problem over the lip. It, it's a Gallardo race car. Just what is this? <laughs> wow. That is Dubai lights out here. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. How are you? It has been you, way too long. Way too long. What? What is this thing? What have you done to this thing? It's like, I. It's, how do you how do you summarize this car? It's not the easiest to get out of, is it? Usually it works like if you take the steering wheel out. <laughs> People ask, why does it come on? Now, now you get it. Yeah, now you get it, so you can get out of the thing. Wow. How are this you, is, Tim? I'm very good, and this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're gonna head out for a drive then with the GT3 RS and also with the Super Trofeo Stradale. I've just parked my Ford GT back up, but let's take a quick listen then to the startup of this ridiculously loud thing. Whoa, okay, my eardrums just got completely blown into smithereens. Let me take a step inside. Enjoy. What is this? Racing steering wheels, we don't have horns, so we just use this. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. In case we really need to. Yeah. So that's, so, that's my solution. Very Persian solution, but uh, yep. it gets well, the job done. I'll, I'll look after that. <laughs> How many Super Trofeo Stradales were there? They said 150, but they only made like 80 something. Okay. Yeah. And so this, this is, is the, this is a one of 80 something. Yeah, but then it was converted fully to the uh, race car. So besides the <laughs> FIA roll cage, which I won't be able to get in if it was yeah. there, it's pretty much the race car. But we do have a roll cage. You've got a half cage behind load. us. Exactly. Half cage behind us. Are these the original seats? These are the original seats. Again, uh, you don't need those because you can't see your with, blind spots. With harnesses, which exactly. I need to work out how so to So whatever do. we needed to convert, we did. Yeah. Whatever that we thought it will be, it looks better and it's also way usable for the road, we mm -hmm. uh, kept. Okay. And it still has a stereo and AC as well. So. Yeah, I was just appreciating the air blowing. Lots of carbon fiber. Is this the original door card? The full, full carbon with the grab handle to pull it to? Yeah. That's not too bad when you're inside, but you changed, well, the steering wheel, obviously, the dashboard. You put a race yeah, dash we have, in uh, We have two steering wheels. So mm -hmm. this is the original uh, race car steering wheel. And there we also have the racing wheel of the Ruhrka. Okay. Uh, a race car, which that's I'll That's the one down here. Later done, but yeah. <laughs> well, when you drive it, well, Put that on. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna be following the. I, I just. DRS. I just heard the when you drive it. Are you sure about that? I was telling you, like I said. <laughs> I, I, I was telling Tim. Nobody has ever driven this car before, and you know people are like, "Oh, you're the first one to drive it." No, it's not something I'm bragging. I don't try to show off. Nobody has ever volunteered 
to yeah. drive this car before. So it's a total liability. We're gonna force Tim to do that. Uh oh, this sounds nerve wracking. All right, well, it's a lovely day. This is a ridiculous car. Say goodbye. We will be back, back to see mine again in a moment. See you later. For now. Wow, it's like 20 something miles an hour. First That's like year. 1700 RPM. <laughs> Interesting drive. Yeah, I can, I can tell that already. This thing is absolutely mental. So even the upshifts, just like a Zonda. Yeah. So, so. It's one of the coolest things, I think. If you want, it's going to be difficult to have conversations. I, I said in the intro that it was like the Lamborghini machine gun, or that's how you'd nickname it. It is, yeah. And we just had our, our demo of why that is. Yeah, it is called the Lamborghini machine It has three modes, so Sport, Corsa, I call them the Bazooka mode, <laughs> which is Corsa. Yeah. And then you have the AK mode, which is a Sport mode. Yeah. And on a regular Strata mode, we could just call it a pistol or something. So okay. Right now we're full on Bazooka. Okay, we started Corsa. in Bazooka. Yeah. That's the only one. Sitting behind a car that also has a very big wing on the top of it. It's actually pretty useful because now I just see through the wing. I don't know if you could film that, but yeah. See before, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just go through. Yeah, you see underneath easier. it. Yeah. Always yeah. better than when you have a wing obscuring your rear visibility. All right, I think I need to tighten up my harnesses because we are in race car. Okay. Um, yeah. Your wing, by the way, the angle of it. It's adjustable in 11 different positions. Okay. That's obviously position 11. And that's full downforce, full that's, attack. That's an air brake. That's, that's the an air same brake. air brake on your McLaren. So we're driving in permanent air brake. Yeah, yeah. Your LT. Okay. <laughs> Need to drive fast to have fun. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Very easy. As if you're riding a bicycle. <laughs> Super Trofeo Stradale, otherwise known. Not so Stradale as the Lamborghini <laughs> machine. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Because the Super Trofeo yeah. is, of course, the, the Lamborghini part race is car. like history now. And Stradale is the translation for road. This was the road going version of the Super Trofeo Gallardo Precisely. race car. Precisely. Except you've basically taken the road car and made it back into the race car. Precisely. Will you keep this car forever? I don't think anyone will have mine off me. Why would anyone buy this car? So yeah. I've worked on this car for almost five years since the day I got it. Okay. The tune alone, we can stop with a red light then we can hear each other. Yeah. <laughs> so this tune is a full on custom tune. It has taken us over 120 ish flashes. Okay. Leads and flashes until we got it almost just over a year. Mm -hmm. That's how long it took to precisely tune it the way I wanted. So it was done by a master Bosch tuner. So usually when people tune turbo cars, they either go Motec for the ECU, they go Cybex. So many options. We kept the stock ECU because it's very hard to tap in the yeah. stock Bosch ECU. You oh, need, we're following a patrol car. You need a master tuner to get these pops tuned properly. And uh, we have nothing, we're full straight. We don't even have O2 sensors on this car. Okay. So post cat O2 sensors, those are even gone. Nothing is in the way of the headers. It's full straight and the exhaust is directly from the race car. Mm -hmm. So we're actually a little louder than the uh, race car because the race car okay. does have catalytic converters, mm -hmm. ironically. We've just got to hope that he's not. Yeah, let's hope oh, that he's not going to be no, bothered no. by us. Oh, well, we both know how that goes, right? Yeah, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's hope it's all good and easy. We didn't get pulled over. He's gone. I'm pretty sure he didn't see us. Yeah. Um, otherwise, otherwise he might have on the side of the road right now. <laughs> it might have happened very quickly. <laughs> I have enough uh, cop videos on my channel. Like, I've, I've been known for the, the cop guy right now. Yeah. Everywhere I go, it's like, he's the cop guy. I'm like, that was not the plan. No. I don't want to make a channel. No, no, no. Oh, I need some more air conditioning blowing at me. It's boiling in here. Wow, this is... I mean, I can tell already that this is fun. My back is very aware that the ride of this thing is... Uh... Well, your ears are gonna also love you in a few minutes. <laughs> 
And what I also know is that it's so low to the ground that you had to make a, a spontaneous visit to AGX last week. Yeah, we ripped the whole underbone. There was a barbell gym plate, yeah. those 45 pounders, in the middle of the highway. And Los Angeles going, uh, going to AGX, ironically. So, you say, how does that get there? We ripped it right off. We only have about two inches of clearance yeah. in the middle and the rear of the car. So, so onto the freeway then. Get it on video. It's so aggressive. You have to go up your reaction. Yeah. yeah, I think my reaction when you accelerated earlier on my face probably told the story mostly. Yeah, I missed that. <laughs> I was just kind of pinned video. into the seats, well aware that I couldn't say anything. <laughs> See, that's the difference between the UK and the US. And yeah, the US. but in Europe and the US, they just got really excited. In the UK, by this. we wouldn't get that confident, would no. we? So I, this car, you've had this car in the UK? Yes, I did. So this car's been Dubai, around the Middle East? Everywhere. You've had it around I Europe? I my Switzerland highway oh, yeah. tag. Oh yeah, Swiss vignettes as they call yeah. it. That's cool, road toll thing. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna have a tunnel to go on there. I just realized like, that. It's like a mini tunnel. A mini tunnel. Is this gonna break my ears? Same boat. <laughs> Swap around time. That means, oh, I've got to watch the curb here because it's very close. If we step out of this thing. Whoa. Let me take a step inside here then. Oh yeah, no steering wheel, normal. <laughs> that feels totally wrong. We are in a, uh, a road car without a steering wheel on it. So, so uh, as uh, British manners always require, mm -hmm. sir, you have two options. <laughs> two of choices of steering, steering wheel. wheel. Which, Which steering would wheel would you like me to drive with? I think if you go the racing steering yeah. wheel, because you'll be able to see the shift lights okay. way better. So. All right, let's go do it. Down. I'm just working out my harnesses at the same time. Good luck putting that on. Yeah, I'll need to give you this one. Yep. Have, so have a steering always wheel. You, have to you can you can like hold it in front of the dash and pretend you're driving from the passenger side. <laughs> so always you gotta make sure the steering wheel is on. So right now it's actually not on. Yeah, and I've had it, it actually come off of me twice. Yeah, I don't want and that. And it's just not a good feeling. No, okay, let me give oh, you the well. camera. Yeah. And then uh, let me work out. Then let me work this out then. There we go. Perfect. Always pull on it. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. That feels you're pretty good. solidly you're in good. place. Uh, belt buckles. Why would you have racing harnesses in a road car? No, I've done it before no one as well. Knows. It's always, it just gives you more uh, As you can see, and drama, my size it? is the exact fit of Tim's size. Have, you're gonna have a greater like loosening 
moment. Back up again afterwards. Okay. We're good. Oh no! Would well, you know what I should have done? I've just seat. done. I've just done the thing that you should never do. The seat, yeah. I've forgotten to put the seat in position. I think you can reach it. You can't. Well, I'm just going to loosen up slightly, just so I can go a touch further forwards. There you go. There we go. You're a bit taller than I am. Start up the normal way. Yeah. Just turn it. It's right now in Strata, so it's it's good. Okay. To go. Strata, man. <laughs> that Strata. That would be sport. Yep. What should I drive in? Should I drive in sport? Of course I will. You think straight into Corsa? The ideal choice. The bazooka okay, mode. Okay, let's um, put the windows slightly up, which is always backwards because Lamborghini. Yep. They always make it so you have to press down to put the window up. Who knows why? Okay. Oh yeah, you got the handbrake for me. Thank you. Okay then. Let's uh... insane things that I've ever driven in my life. It's a different feeling when you're actually holding a steering wheel and you're feeling the pulse yeah. and, that, well, and the steering wheel it's itself. it's a race car. Yeah, it, it is a race car. There's no like, there's no discussion yeah. about it. Like you, we drive all these road cars which are you know, race cars, the, the race versions or the more hardcore versions. This Pretty is, much a race car with a machine gun in the back. Yeah, basically. That's what it is. It's something like that. This is, I mean, yeah, it's neutral with both paddles. Back into gear. Oh, I mean, this is just right. Oh, yeah, no top of the steering wheel. <laughs> okay, yeah, I've done that. And then. Right, handbrake on. So here's the thing, this yeah. car has what we call a grenade mode. A 
grenade mode. Yeah, so this is the launch control mode. So put yeah. your foot on the brake. Yeah. First gear. So whatever you do, don't take your foot off the no, left brake. Do a launch control, but don't launch. Exactly. So okay. hold your feet down for like two seconds, three seconds on the pedal, yeah. the gas pedal, and then let go and it's literally like a grenade. So go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> I gotta stop. This is too much run. It's, it's not right. This shouldn't be possible. Okay, then. So, uh, I guess just turn switch the off. Yeah. Steering wheel off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do the whole works. What a strange feeling. Your car is genuinely a weapon. A proper Questions, machine gun. concerns. Yeah. <laughs> Many questions and concerns, but for the moment, I'm going to hop on out. <laughs> We've come for a quick stop then at In and Out to grab a burger and. Um just maneuvering this thing sounds stupid to be honest it sounds completely and utterly stupid and when it's parked in a clean air vehicle space highly efficient fuel clean air vehicle <laughs> which this is not this is absolutely not <laughs> clean air vehicle space 100 <laughs> percent I'm just gonna say for the video, we're not gonna leave the car here. We will not leave it here, but it is quite fun nonetheless. This car, very few words for it. It is absolutely ridiculous. Remember the old school days when they used to take their steering wheels? Yeah. Old school cars, so no one would steal the car? Took the radio. That's, that's where we're bringing it up. <laughs> now you do the same. This high downforce wing, which is basically just inefficient. It's an air brake. It's an air brake. It's a permanently up air brake with a gurney flap at the back. There we go, the adjustable settings, 11 places you can mount it. Honestly, I, I yeah, that, that's just been a little bit silly and ridiculous. We'll move it. It's just for a video. No, no, but I mean just the driving experience, the bangs, the cracks, the pops, the insane noises, the... I, I don't really know and, well, there's plenty more of it if you want to see even more of the car over on Stig's Persian Cousins channel. I find that really hard to say. I know, I need to find Stig's a more Persian cousin. catchy... SPC. SPC or SPC, SPC. I'm glad you liked it. I, I wanted I you did. to check it out for a very long time. Because we been... went like four years ago last night. Yes, so. well more, five or six since the... And since... LA out of all places, with you, with your car... And... Yeah, everything just comes together, it has yeah. a way that it lines up. That it's has been absolutely insane. Thank you very much for the drive. My pleasure. I'll pop Anytime. the links down below, guys. Do go and follow SPC. And um, for now, we're going to go grab ourselves a burger after the car has been moved. So thank you very much for watching, guys. That's it for this time. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.